Hello, welcome back to my channel where today I'll be attempting to fix my hair. So recently I went on holiday and while on holiday I was getting annoyed about the sides of my hair being really long and for some reason I decided I was going to fix it without a mirror and I completely messed up the lines I had set in my hair. So today we're going to attempt to fix that a little bit by faking a mohawk and by faking a mohawk I mean I'm just going to kind of paint one on and then over time I'll be able to shave it in properly. So I started off by cutting the top of my hair down a bit. This is just so the sides don't look as short in comparison. Even though I wasn't that bothered by how long my hair was on top, I wanted to kind of meld them in together just a little bit more. And then I went on to bleaching. The bleach I use is the Garnier one, it's the Ultra Blonde Bleach Maximum Lightener. That is really difficult to say. I don't know why some brands just have the longest names for their products, it's very impractical. But anyway, I use that one, it's one I always use. It's the only one I've ever really used that goes really well with my hair. It bleaches it quite well and it never seems to overly damage it, so I really trust this brand. When bleaching my hair, I always do the front line first. This is just because I want that to be the lightest part of my head because everyone's always gonna see it. I then moved on to the back because I wanted to get the shape in properly so I just went down the sides down the center of the back to try and get that fake mohawk look. It did take a very long time I think it took about 20 minutes just to get the shape right. You can see in the video that I have to keep on stopping and kind of looking at it in different angles in the mirror. This would be so much easier if I had someone else to do it but honestly I wouldn't trust a hairstylist to do this to me. They'd probably think I was going a little bit mad because I wanted a fake mohawk painted into my head and it would also be hideously expensive. For this I wanted to keep it as cheap as possible so I was just using products I already had. I already had the bleach on hand and then all the dye I use is just leftover dye I had from other projects. So this experiment was completely free which is great because I knew that if I messed it up I would be able to afford to fix it. I don't mess it up though, I'm gonna have to keep on stressing that. It doesn't go wrong, I'm very happy with how it comes out. It probably looks very weird to some people but I absolutely love it and I want everyone to know that as we're going along because it looks really bad when I'm doing the bleaching. Like you can't really tell what I'm going for but in the end it all comes together quite well. So on to the technicalities of the bleaching process. I started out by using the bleach as instructed from the box and I just do the roots for this and then I left on for 15 minutes. I probably should have left on a little bit longer because my hair doesn't really take to the bleach that well. I'm pretty sure it's because the roots were quite long and I didn't really account for that. So after the 15 minutes I went in with a second round of bleaching just on the roots. This time I added a tiny little bit of blue conditioner into the pot. This is just going to tone my hair as it's bleaching. I found that this just works very well, I would highly recommend it. And then for the final bleaching I add even more conditioner and I go all the way to the ends of my hair. This bleach works really well at lifting the colour out of my hair. I don't know the science behind that. Maybe different bleaches work in different ways. But this one can definitely lift the colour out of my hair. So I trust it on the ends of my hair. Even if it's going to damage them quite a lot. They don't look too damaged once I've got the colour on. I think my blonde hair always looks very damaged. But as soon as I put the colour on it doesn't look that bad anymore. I think it's because the brand of colour that I use is very conditioning. So it kind of just brings moisture back into my hair. But I'm not quite sure. Don't hold me to that. I completely forgot to mention any time so the first round is 15 minutes, the second round is 10 minutes and the final round is another 15 minutes. So in total the bleach is directly on my scalp for about 40 minutes which isn't really an issue for me, it's never really burnt me, it's a little bit uncomfortable after a while but I've always found it's okay. With the middle all bleached, it was time to move on to the dyeing process. So usually I do a split dye or a quarter dye. I do like four different colours across my head. But I really wanted to do something different for this look. So I took inspiration from all those people who have like the underside of their hair dyed a brighter different colour. And I decided to do it inspired by a watermelon. So I'm going to do the edges green and the middle pink. In order to do this, it took a lot of setting up. I had to separate my hair out all properly. And it took a really long time and it was getting really annoying. But it was definitely worth it because it made it so much easier to dye it later on. For the dyeing process I decided to go from the middle outwards as I thought this was the best way to stop the colours from mixing and it did seem to work so I would recommend it if you're going to do your hair like this. And as I was starting with the centre I was going in first with the pink. For this I used a mixture of two pinks because I didn't have enough of one brand. So I used a live colour pink and I used a crazy colour pink. Both brands I'm not a huge fan of. Live colour aren't vegan and crazy colour just don't stay in your hair very long. They wash out so quickly but I'm hoping because it's mixed together it won't wash out too quickly. And yeah I put it all the way down the centre of my head, going into a point right at the nape of my neck. I think the shape is a little bit off when my hair was actually flat and down, because you can still see a divide between the hair on top and the hair at the back. I think it's just because of a length thing, so when it flops over the top it kind of ruins the line a little bit. So hopefully that will be fixed by the back growing out more in time. And I think the two browns together made a really cute colour. It kind of reminds me of the Manic Panic hair dye in the pot. For some reason the Manic Panic pink does not go on my hair, it does not stick. All my other hair dye is Manic Panic, but the pink 
like don't work on me i'm really not sure why so if anyone has any suggestions on good pinks that they recommend please let me know because i really do need one with the pink all done i went on to the little side bits for this i went in with a green hair dye this is manic panic electric lizard it is my favorite hair dye of all time I love having green hair, I'm not even sure why. I feel like green hair just suits me really well, maybe it's my skin tone or something like that, but I always look really good with green hair. And this was really quick to do, it's a really small section when you actually think about it, and I was just kind of pushing it down onto my brown hair, which I do fix later so don't worry about that. Oh and as a note, please ignore all the horrible facial expressions I'm pulling throughout this video, it is just me concentrating, I kind of have a very strange ugly concentrating face so I'm really sorry about that, it's kind of embarrassing, but we're moving on. And later is apparently now because we're going to go onto the black sections of my hair. As I was pushing the green hair dye onto the brown sections of my hair, I decided to go back over them with black because I was worried about there being kind of a green shine right at the top of this section and I didn't want that to happen so I just went over with Manic Panic black hair dye. Now that all the dye was on my head, I left it on for three hours and then I washed it out with three rounds of shampoo and two rounds of conditioner and we're finally onto the reveal. So this is the final result, I love it so much. I know it's not perfect, some of the colours are a little bit off in places. I think because I had orange on one side of my head before, part of the green is a little bit strange on that side but I'm okay with it. I am really really hopeful that this is going to grow out really well and turn into an actual mohawk. I guess it's going to be more of a mullet eventually. But yeah, that is it for this video. If you did enjoy it, please give it a like. Comment down below your thoughts on my hair. Do you like it? Do you hate it? Do you think I could do something different with it? Any suggestions on colours and all that? Everything is very much appreciated and subscribe as opposed new video every single week and I'd love to see you again but until then bye